Hello. Get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time here. Mars. So we have Mars here. And we have Mars, Gibbous Moon, in conjunction. So, whoever was in competition or at war with you, pay extra attention to these things that's been going on because some of y'all are in y'all final phase before completion. A lot of y'all are close to achieving y'all goal. So, you know, the competition and... You know, people trying to get in your way, you know, get a little tougher, a little stronger. Um, so pay attention at this time. We have conjunction. These people who we have, in this is in the reverse, so people who join forces against you to feel empowered here. This wolf pack, this shit is in reverse. So it looked like some of y'all done blew up the damn competition and blew up these people we have wolf moon i mean but when i said wolf pack these some damn hungry wolves who tried to join forces up against you here but they're in reverse this teaming up and joining forces with this wolf pack is in reverse here and even through the competition and the war that you had to you know endure you're still close to achieving your goals but you still want to pay attention because you know, when you close, that's when, you know, stuff can get, stuff can get crazy. Because people don't want you to get there and achieve that goal. But you could have trines within your chart here. Uh, you have a lot of talents here. And your talents and things of that nature is, is bringing you luck. So keep going with the flow. Things will ease for you. It won't be no friction. Okay, you're going to receive the benefits that you need to receive from what you do. We have the third house, which talks of uh, communication here. You could do something um, on social media, or you can communicate things out of your mouth. You can use your mind. You can do social activities uh, via via social media. There's about to be some type of dramatic change and shift going on with that. Something is about to transform for you. Look, we got the grand trine. You could be a grand trine, but you finna be blessed for whatever you do on the internet. Whatever you communicate. You could even help within your neighborhood too as well here. But whatever you do on the internet, there's about to be a lunar eclipse here. So it's going to be a dramatic change, uh, a shift in perception, okay? Something is about to end and something is about to begin. There's about to be a transformation here. And it's, it's, it's a blessing that you're going to have for going through this war. Um, and you didn't you didn't have assistance either. I mean, you could have had assistance from the divine, but you, you, you did something on your own. You ain't have no pack to help you or people to help you. You did this, and you're being blessed for going through this war alone or with the divine, but it was just you and the divine. So you're being blessed. You're going to have good luck. You're going to receive even more gifts. You're going to be magnetic, too, as well. You're going to do things. Things are going to happen for you with even you putting in little effort. You're going to have huge successes because you already, and you know, people may feel like, oh, you, you know, you putting in little effort and you da, 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 but no, you went through it. That's why people shouldn't judge and look at certain things. You went through it and alone, you in the divine. 
because this is where blessings come from, from the divine. So you ain't do it solely alone. You know what I'm saying? But it was just you and the divine. Yep, we have seventh house here. So check your set seventh house. You're going to have some business partnerships and things of that nature that's going to come out of this. You're going to have that. You may end up even finding true love. You're getting justice. Uh, you're getting justice on your enemies, your rivals too as well here. <gasps> but you're going to end up having friendships that's going to spring out of this, out of these blessings. Business partners. Um, you know, contracts. True love. Marriage. Like, you're going to be blessed. I'm telling you. You're, you're going to be blessed. Everything that you dreamed of, whatever you imagine, because with this Neptune energy, yo, 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 wildest fantasies is gonna come true. It looked like because you, you, you self-sacrificed too here, and you had empathy. And you, you could have, because you could have had confusion within yourself too as well, right? If people could have tried to cause confusion to you on the outside of you, because what goes on within, it also points, what goes on with on the outside of you, it points out what's on the inside of you for real. But with divine love, I'm telling you. You can achieve anything. Uh, Biggie, sky's the limit is playing in my mind. Yeah, stability is coming for you. Solid foundations. Just continue to be patient. You're being rooted and grounded in this blessing here. So continue to be patient. You're being rooted and grounded in your blessings. Receiving gifts. Having huge successes. Being in harmony. True love on the way. Um, justice within these rivals and enemies that you have, people who are at war with you. You're going to get new friendships, business partners, contracts, and you're going to have, uh, you have, you can have earth trines in your chart. But we also have the pink moon. Look, the bottom of the deck, pink moon, new and exciting opportunities. Focus on the new transcendence, maturity, fullness, uh, fertility, the first steps on a new path for you. Listen to the guidance of your soul. What's about to happen for you is going to bring healing with this Chiron. What's going to happen for you is going to bring healing. So, y'all have these signs in y'all Mars. Y'all got these signs in y'all Mars, in y'all third house, in y'all seventh house, and in y'all Chiron. I'm going to repeat it. Your Mars, third house, seventh house, and your Chiron. These are the signs that y'all have in those placements. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Cancer, Leo, and Taurus. So check your birth chart. If 
you got them signs in your Chiron, your Mars, your third house, your seventh house, this message is for you. Y'all got some good things coming and things turning around for y'all. Blessings. Splitting the deck. Roots of abundance. Endless possibilities for some of you. So continue to be patient. Things are being rooted and grounded for you. But there's about to be a shift for some of y'all. So continue to do what y'all do. Continue to produce. All will be exposed and revealed here. Y'all went through war. In battles. Y'all did it by yourselves. With the divine. And... Here come y'all blessings and gifts. And since y'all already put in all of that work, we're going through, you know, them, that, that war, them hard times and things of that nature. Um, This is what, you, what you're about to have now is going to be, you know, done with, it ain't going to be friction. It ain't going to be much effort that you're going to have to put in because you already put in that effort. We have a beautiful uncaging. Things are going to unfold beautifully for you here. And if individuals try to say that, you know, oh, and Scorpio too. But if individuals try to say that, you know, they helped you or y'all work together. No, this was only done by you and the divine. That divine was your wolf pack. And then you're also blessed because these people who tried to compete with you, join forces, it didn't work. You're still close to success. 14 is also my saving number too. You won't have to see the people who tried to come up against you anymore. Y'all also, y'all have earth trines in y'all chart, fire trines in y'all chart, air signs and water signs in y'all chart. And y'all could be, y'all could be a fire grand trine, water grand trine, air grand trine, earth grand trine. Some of y'all don't only have trines in your chart, some of y'all are grand trines. And then we have the spirit of gratitude. Y'all are very thankful and continue to, you know, be thankful and show the divine y'all gratitude because things are going to turn around for y'all. So we're going to pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for because y'all have exciting new things on the way. I ain't gonna pull no more cards, cause you know. Um, be surprised. <laughs> be surprised. That's all I'm gonna give y'all. That things is gonna turn around for you. Let me get y'all some music though. It could be some extra um some extra messages in there for y'all. Okay. So we have SZA, Good Days, R. Kelly, Honey Love, Her, Lost Souls. Ariana Lennox, Up Late, Free Nationals, Beauty Essence featuring Daniel Caesar and an Unknown Mortal Orchestra, Kevin Gates, Send That Low, Primo Rice, Malaysia featuring Larry June, and Wale, Illest Bitch. 
So Wale, Illis Bitch, Primo Rice, Malaysia featuring Larry June, Kevin Gates, Sin That Low, Free Nationals, Beauty Essence featuring Daniel Caesar and the Unknown Mortal Orchestra, Ari Lennox Up Late, Her Lost Souls, R. Kelly Honey Love, and SZA Good Days. Those songs can have an extra message in there for you. And we're going to pull a grateful heart message because it's always something to be grateful for. We have the words of Yahweh are pure. Yahweh is gracious and full of compassion. So this is divine grace here, which is beautiful. It says here, for I know the plans I have for you, declares Yahweh. Plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope. What a caterpillar calls the end of the world, the master calls a butterfly. If the only prayer you say in life is thank you, that will suffice. So definitely show your gratitude. Bless is the one who trusts in Yahweh, whose confidence is in him. Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Yahweh is the stronghold of my life. Whom shall I be afraid? I meditate on your name all night, Yahweh, treasuring your revelation, O oh Yahweh. So I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Remember, keep going. You're being grounded into things here. Don't give up. Things is going to turn around for me, for y'all. I know things have been hard, but things is going to turn around for y'all. I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all later. Peace.